Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a good one today. I'm the Metal Junkie and it is Prog Fridays. So you know what that means. We're doing a progressive rock or metal track. And today, you've guys chosen South Side of the Sky by Yes. I think this is on the Fragile album. Fragile. Um, we're going to check it out. Don't know this track. I've done quite a bit of Yes in the past and other prog bands if you want to go check it out. But I've never heard this song, so I'm strapping in. I'm sure it's going to be a great ride. Windy. to say they got the groove turned up to a thousand everybody's going off but what's catching me off guard is the heaviness of the track especially in the bass those that bass tone is so filthy it's so low and like bop, 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 bop. i don't know it's cutting through um and it's going off keeping things in check giving the song an edge while the guitar is like, doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> I don't know, everybody's going off. You got Bill on the drums. He kind of opened things up and everybody just followed. Freaking Chris Squire on bass. So that's just really catching me this time. But everybody's playing like always. And John Anderson's bringing the great vocals as well. Lyrically, South Side of the Sky. Before I went in, I was like, is this talking about like hell or what? But... You never know with yes. I think at this point there's talking about like south side of the sky, like the other side of Earth maybe. I don't know where the sun's not reaching because he said about it being cold. I try not to look too deep in the yes's lyrics, but musically this is just off the chain. It's so crazy. <laughs> Real quick, I just got to mention, I didn't mention Rick Wakeman, who is also incredible. He just came in with a nice little piano section. We usually hear him going off on the keys, on the synths and whatnot, but here he was more subdued. But you hear the, the freaking drums in the background? It was just, I don't know how he remembers everything because it's like, almost sounds like it was very off pattern or like, it's just very progressive when it comes to the drums craziness. It's almost like jazzy in a bit. Such a contrast. Piano. Thank you. 
like we're about to get into a crazy section i just want to say what a turn the song has taken since that piano came in it's like a completely different song at this point and the piano and the drums they work so well together especially when it was just them two and then the bass slipped in i mean they pair so well interesting uh group vocals it's like uh, a cappella almost like they're doing this type of melody with their vocals it sounds really cool just so different from the first two minutes of the track you know what i'm saying but it still sounds beautiful i love just the flow of the melody of the piano when they was doing that do, 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 do. i don't remember it exactly but i remember it being really cool i was kind of singing along with it while it was playing <laughs> Now where are we going? <laughs> interesting that they can sound heavy yet funky and groovy and there's like some twang in there with the guitar like the gu steve howe's doing some very interesting things in regards to the guitar playing on top of this more heavier sound it's something that you wouldn't think would match together but it just blends together so perfectly it's such an interesting track musically i have to say and i like how they brought this section back <laughs>
Hell yeah. And finishing off with the wind again. I like to think that this song is based off the cover of the album with that bird plane thing going around the world. Maybe they're going to the south side of the sky. Uh, just made me think of that while listening to it. But yeah, great friggin' track, man. Yes, they're they're one of those great bands. Uh, I, I enjoy all the prog rock I've done on the channel from uh, Yes to Genesis to Kansas to Super Tramp. But I have to admit, I think my favorite out of all those 70 prog bands I checked out is Yes. They just always have these infectious grooves. Uh, they're always there to surprise me. Every band member is always playing at 100%. They're very close to Genesis when it comes to the talent and the playing and everything. But I feel like these guys just seem to be a little bit more my style when, in terms of the, the riffs and just the music itself. It can be heavy. It can be groovy, funky, twangy, everything in between. And it always works. And it's just really impressive. Everybody was playing their asses off again. Uh, Rick Wakeman on those pianos were beautiful. Bill uh, Brufford on the drums was just insane. Very jazzy, progressive, fusion mixed, like really good. Chris Squire on the bass, his chunky, heavy bass tones in this were just so damn good. Different than what I expected him to do because he's always great. But this time he was on like a lower level at times, which... Made it really heavy for this year. I think this is like a 1970 or 1971 album. So very impressive. John Anderson on vocals. Him and especially all the a cappella like group vocal work was really cool. And of course Steve Howe on guitars. He was doing guitar parts that shouldn't have worked but totally did. Uh, very impressive. The whole band is on another level. South Side of the Sky has to be one of my favorite songs I reacted to by Yes. It was just such a fun time. And I'm surprised you guys didn't request it sooner. Maybe you did in the past and I had so many requests. But for Prog Fridays, I'm glad someone requested this. So it's always a fun time. If you want your song requested or you want to put in a request, I'll try my best to get to it for Prog Fridays. It can be any progressive rock or metal track and I'll check it out. It will be added to the list. So make sure you drop down your suggestions. I'll be adding this to the Yes playlists. And until next time, guys, thanks for watching.